What's up guys, what's going on? It's Miguel here with Battle Labs, Work and Recover. And in today's video, we're in the Apocalypse Gym. And I'm gonna show you guys three different head movement drills that you can do from home that require absolutely no equipment. All it needs is your mind and body. Now before we get started with the video, don't forget to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below, and also don't forget to hit the notification button to stay tuned in all our videos. Now let's go ahead and get started with the boxing drills. All right guys, so starting off with the first drill, this one, it's gonna be a very simple one. All we're doing is going side here, side here. We're kind of dipping like the letter U, and we're gonna do this while moving backwards and forward. Now, when you're doing it, you wanna do it, uh, you wanna be moving forward, for example, down a straight line, and you wanna pretend there's a line going straight down and um, going to the center of your forehead. So what you wanna do though is you wanna be out of line. And so this, the point of this whole drill is to work on going under and coming out on the sides where you're not being in position in the center line. Also too, when you're doing this drill, don't even rush it, try to get a feel. When you're doing these, um, you might feel unbalanced, okay? And if you're feeling a balance problem, you're gonna wanna look at your feet. Make sure when you're moving, when you're dipping, you're pivoting. That'll keep the balance for you. So this is how it's gonna look. Again, we're dipping like a U, the letter U. If you feel like you're unbalanced, again, try to, um, Try to self-analyze yourself. Are you leaning too forward? If you're leaning too forward, it's possibly that your, your upper body is leaning too forward. So we might have to bring it back and work on the rear leg positioning of it. Another thing I like to do with this to kind of get like a different type of feeling for it is to do it in tempos. For example, I like to do this tempo. It's just a one, two, three. Excuse me, it's just a one, two. So it's So you can either do it consistent and like this. You wanna make sure too when you're bending down, you're bending at the knees. Try to not like slouch forward. You can also switch southpaw. But essentially, this is what it is right here. This is a simple drill, really effective. And uh, if you have your hands, if you can get your hands on a string, you can tie it up somewhere and literally um, use it in order to go side to side on it. So, that's the first drill right there. All right guys, so the second drill we're gonna work on for head movement is gonna be the slip, slip, roll. Now you've probably seen this a lot in boxing. One of the most thrown combos, I feel like almost in all stand-up sports, is gonna be the jab, cross, hook. So essentially that's what we're slipping. We're slipping the jab, we're slipping the cross, and then we're rolling from the hook. So this is how it looks though, this is the drill. Essentially it's slip, slip, roll. Slip, slip, roll. Now you can take your time with this no matter what level you are. Um, again, when you're doing this, you want to execute it, but you want to make sure you're executing it with great form because uh, you don't want to be off balance in doing this. Again, it all starts from the feet. So really pay attention to your, to your, uh, your balance. So slip, slip, roll. Slip, slip, roll. Now, again, what we're doing here is we're simulating, again, the jab, we're slipping the jab, we're slipping the cross, and we're slipping the hook, okay? And then you could even break this down into small increments, you know? If, if your opponent's just throwing the jab, boom, you just slip it under the side. If they're throwing the cross, you can do that, and roll out. 
So this one gives you like all three responses. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. You can train it with your hands up, which I recommend if you're trying to, uh, to just uh, learn the boxing art and uh, just get familiar with it. Learn the basics first. As you get a little bit more comfortable, if you like, you can even drop your hands just to get more whip to it. But for starters, just keep your hands up. Uh, a good guideline is wherever your knuckles are, try to have them where your jaw is. And keep them nice and relaxed and this is how it will look. And again, too, when you're doing these, try to really engage on your core muscles. Everything is working here. We're slightly pivoting to this side. We're slightly pivoting to this side. And we're dipping and then going up. So your muscles are at play at this as well. So be very conscious about that. That's drill number two. All right, guys, so moving on to drill number three. This one is going to be a little different. This time we're going to actually be firing and also using head movement with it as well simultaneously. Okay? So we're just gonna work off the one, two because usually it's simple and it's usually very effective. Okay? So this is how it looks. It's just a jab, cross. When you throw your cross, you wanna roll with it. It's almost like the power that's coming out, you wanna crunch this back and bring yourself back. Like you're pulling a lever almost. And that'll give you a cleaner, faster roll. Again, the reason why we're rolling off this is just in case you miss or for whatever reason, you're at least rolling, you're, you're safe. If they're throwing, um, going for a hook, you're rolling with it and you're back in a position. Again, so when you're first doing this, take your time. No rush, feel yourself out. Boom, stick your head out kind of when you're throwing the jab. Throw, stick your head out the other angle when you're throwing your cross. You just roll with it again. You're pulling the lever. And then as you get more advanced, you can start firing them off a little faster. Simulate like you're fighting. And again, as you get faster and start throwing more power into that cross, you're going to notice it's going to be harder to find that balance. So again, on the way, as you're working up in the power ladder, also work up on the balance factor. And uh, stay disciplined with your form. So that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That was three boxing head movement drills that you can do with no equipment. Again, the first one is, you know, imagining the line going under the second one is a slip slip roll and then we're finishing off with the jab cross rolling with the cross now each time you're doing these movements every repetition make sure it's a quality rep you want to um, have discipline in your form to uh, have good um, good habits along the way you don't want to um, be exhausted and be doing um, the form and technique incorrectly because that will program into your body so um, just be really delicate with it as you get more advanced you can start ripping it throwing it faster and you know doing your own style with it you know so um that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a like hit that subscribe button also comment down below don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay caught up on all our videos and also guys uh, check the link down in the description uh, check out our product called actor ball um, it's pretty much a hand-eye coordination tool that helps you with your reflexes and your accuracy and um, yeah you can check it out in the link down below so that's it guys thank you guys for watching Miguel with Battle Labs, I'm out.